Chloe Watson, ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands out there. There we go. She's trained by a gentleman you might know, Mr. Ricky Hatton. Give him a nice round of applause too. Chloe, come on up to the ring. Well, George Liddell was, uh, was out before he'd even got in then. So we'll speak a little bit more about him on Saturday night, on Before the Bell. Myself, Darren and Fabio Wardley will be uh, talking through his contest with Avoji Gurdjic from Zagreb in Croatia. There is Ricky Hatton and there is Chloe Watson, 22 years of age from Birkenhead, signed with Wasserman Boxing. And as you heard there from... Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0, Chloe Watson. Trained by Ricky Hatton, they've been working together since March 2021, introduced through a, a close family friend. She made a debut November 25th on one of the Wasserman Development Series. It was a fourth rounder against Judith Hatchbold at your call. The dreaded shoelaces. I don't imagine you knew how to tie yours until you were about still, 25. You're still tying mine now. Until you married Beth, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're getting a lot better, though, I have to say. I'm getting there. Yeah, big fan of uh, Chloe from what I've already seen. She's uh, she's very confident, almost flashy. She's got a lovely jab. She, uh, she moves really well, and as she settles down, she really starts to get her shots off really, really well. She moves her head. She's always thinking about the exit after, whether it's her feet or uh, her head, like I say. And she'll be very hard to beat, I feel. And it does help having someone like Ricky in your corner. He was quite good, you know. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's all part of fight week, these media workouts. But some of these younger fighters like George Lidard and Chloe Watson on there and some of the other younger ones, it's, it's a good opportunity just to sort of shape up and, and just show some of the media and some of the, the, the fighting it's public here. It's pressure even on, even on a shadow box in front of this many people at a venue. Yeah. Like this when you've never done anything art for... But like for me, if I was to do this, I'd be, I'd be trying to turn a couple of heads thinking, Blimey, he's got quick hands, yeah. you know, he's whole yeah. bad. Yeah. And uh, this helps you in the future for sure. Like you say, you've got them little bit of jitters, those nerves, um, and they do help. It's another experience. It might not seem like it, but I'm telling you now, these little, little workouts that they do do help. She shared the ring with uh, Gemma Ruek, who we'll see on the bill as uh, Shannon Courtney's return opponent, also on before the belt. One of five contests on our pre-broadcast segment, starting at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, live on YouTube. Myself, Darren Fabio Woodley will be taking you through the card. We'll be going live on 7 o'clock on the zone pay-per-view, live from the O2. Five contests on the bill. Kicking off with Lyndon Arthur, Cesar Reynoso, Ellie Scottney against the European champion, Mary Romero, Vince Cash against the undefeated Conor Coyle, Galau Yafai against Gohan Garcia. That could be a brilliant fight just to peak the atmosphere ahead of well, what will be absolute fever pitch. And Conor Ben and Chris Eubank make their ring walks 30 years since their father's last did battle. And there is Ricky Hatton. Very nearly made his ring return not too long ago. Very nearly made his ring return not too long ago. Well, it's been rescheduled, I think. Yeah. Back in training. Looking well, Ricky. I don't think at any point, sorry, Chris, sorry. would I want to take a left hook to the body from Ricky Hatton. Whether he was 60, 65, 70, I don't want You'd never want to take a left hook to the body no. from Ricky Hatton. No. For those of you just joining us, welcome to the outer net building, just next to Tottenham Court Road. Top of the show, we address the 
breaking news story this morning surrounding Conor Ben, and we will be on his arrival hearing from Eddie Hearn in the studio, putting some questions to him. So stick with us. No doubt, all those of you that want to hear from him, and it'll be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time out there. Let's get your hands together. Chloe Watson, Watson out here with the from Birkenhead. That should be in the ring on Saturday night. Chloe Watson, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Chloe Watson is uh, third on the bill, I believe. Matty Harris, who I think may be on his way. Uh, there are train strikes today, so getting here has been a bit of a nightmare. I had to yeah. go around the houses uh, to get in. Matty Harris will be second on the bill against Jiri Sunad. He's been pretty good, Matty Harris, so far. 3-0 yes. and o with uh, two stoppages. Uh, speaking to Fabio Wardley about him yesterday, said he's been out in uh, Dillian White's training camp in, in Portugal. Big 6 for 7 heavyweight, relaxed, loose, good power uh, as well. Another name to add to this mix of, of good prospects. Absolutely. Uh, I, I like what I've seen from him. He's... Uh, He's so dangerous with that right hand and he almost measures it.